hey what's up everybody i am back today i just wanted to come on here with a quick word for you guys so i'm just gonna start in john 4 it says jesus said in john 4 verse 10 if you only knew the gift god has for you and who you are speaking to you would ask me and i would give you living water and he also said anyone who drinks this water will soon become thirsty again but those who drink the water i give will never be thirsty again it becomes a fresh bubbling spring within them giving them eternal life and you guys like lately i have just been feeling so drained i've been feeling just so you know just not satisfied with life and it's because i wasn't making jesus my source right i wasn't making him my source i have so many new things going on in my life including having another baby and uh, well i had another baby and so i'm juggling having two kids a husband a different life you know trying to figure out how this all works and everything has changed and he tells us to come to him we seek ye first the kingdom of god and all his righteousness and all else will be added unto us right so if we seek him first before we seek anything else which is outside sources like the phone we try to look up anything on google or whatever it's like that's like sometimes the first things that we go to instead of seeking jesus and his answers the answers in the word right because that's what's going to fill us his presence is going to fill us and then we'll get everything else that we need like he says all else will be added unto you if you seek the kingdom and his righteousness first first he says that for a reason and he gave me this revelation as i was just drinking i was filling up my water at the refrigerator and while i'm filling it up i'm drinking out of the straw and it's continuously filling up it's never going empty right if i am not at the source where i get the water at and I continue to drink, my cup becomes empty, right? But if I stay at the source where the water is coming from, where the living water is coming from, but I'm still drinking out of it, it continues to stay full, right? It's the same thing with us staying at staying with Jesus, right? It's the same thing. He's supposed to be our number one source, and that is how we begin to stay full. That's how our soul and our spirit stays full, is if we stay with Him, we stick with Him, we seek Him first before anything else, you guys. And I'm having to, it's like I'm relearning this all over again. I have not left Jesus, I have not done anything like that. I still love Jesus. I love God, you know what I mean? It's just that we all fall short of his glory, right? I'm no more I'm no better than anybody else. I fall short every day. But I notice whenever I don't make time the the right amount of time that I normally would for Jesus and I'm the one that's trying to control everything around me and trying to rely on myself for like happiness and fulfillment and all this stuff or relying on my husband or my children or outside sources for that fulfillment it just never works it just never works but as soon as I get right back to Jesus and I seek him earnestly if I seek him earnestly you guys I always start to feel full and I feel complete you know when I'm doing the things that he calls me to do I just feel so much more complete in myself and it's really not for me but it's for his glory to show that he's a promise keeper he always has my back and my best interest if I just seek him and I stick with him I won't have to worry about anything else and that goes for you guys as well this is for everyone it's an open invitation an open thing for everyone to come to Jesus that is what he wants that is what father God wants for us is to come to him so I hope that this helped somebody today because it sure helped me you guys and I I will see you in my next video. Bye.